How's it going everybody? David here and <clears throat> I just wanted to do a quick vlog for you guys and uh, what this is is basically a story time. I'm, uh, I've been watching a lot of uh, Swoozy's videos. Uh, he was one of the first YouTubers that I ever really got into back when YouTube was, you know, getting big and all that. Way before I had an idea to get on YouTube myself. But it was, you know, he was always one of my favorite uh, storytellers on the site. And <clears throat> recently I just got back into him and I saw a video that he uploaded not too long ago, about six months ago. Um, uh, and it's, uh, he tells a story about a school bully. And I thought that was pretty funny. Here is my bullying experience. <clears throat> now, this story starts in eighth grade. You know, it was, you know, barely, uh, it was, I think it was in the second half of the year. We were definitely going to be leaving eighth grade and going into high school because <clears throat> we had middle schools over here. And I came and I went to a middle school. I actually lived really nearby to it. But um, uh, <clears throat> this shit was ghetto. This was a ghetto school. It wasn't like any advanced school or anything like that. Um, uh, <clears throat> but that was the school that I was assigned to go to right after elementary. So we go to this school and everything goes by pretty quickly. You know, you just get through these classes and um, uh, <clears throat> and you know everything goes normal. And it wasn't until uh, the second half of my second year there. Um, uh, right before I go that I got into uh, problems with this guy. I've never really been bullied before like you know we've messed around just dumb kid stuff and uh, you know everybody gives each other a hard time that sort of thing but no outright bullying at least not to me or to anybody that I know. So <clears throat> uh, I forget what was I forget what caused it but there was we had this large group of friends and there was this dude Carlos um, uh, he was, we weren't particularly friends, but we weren't enemies either. And out of nowhere, out of the blue, he started kind of singling me out, kind of teasing me and, uh, you know, calling me names and all this stuff. And it, it was, it really came out of nowhere. I really don't know where it came from. I think he, he was new at the school, so it might've been like, you know, he was trying to figure out the pecking order or some childish thing like that. And <clears throat> anyway, with that, um, so it, it all comes to a head. It was, um, uh, you know, he was just fucking with me, messing with my stuff. Uh, he would, uh, you know, he was bigger than me, so he would kind of like try to intimidate me and stuff like that. But it wasn't anything too bad. We had never really gotten physical until one day he was, you know, towering over me and I kind of just, you know, I, I was sick of it. So I just shoved him off of me and I'm like, back the fuck off. And he didn't like that. So we got to do a bit of a scuffle. We threw some punches, but you know, we, we were broken up, you know, teachers coming, everybody scatters, so we just went our separate ways and we didn't really talk about it again. But um, uh, even though that happened between us, you know, there wasn't there wasn't really any bad blood there, but um, uh, we didn't quite get away clean because then the school got involved because they caught us on security camera that we were wailing on each other. So then my parents get involved and his parents got involved. So we got this whole thing going on and um, uh, my mom had to sit me down and they were asking us, they forced us to apologize to each other, that whole shake hands thing. And um, uh, it was just one of the strangest situations I'd ever found myself in. Cause um, uh, I felt like at the time, I felt that we had resolved the issue. You know, two kids, one was trying to lord over the other one. We got into a fight, went our separate ways, no more problems. And then here we come the adults trying to fix something that ain't broke. Why do, why do adults try and do that? They always say, come to us but they don't realize that as a kid you can't really go to the adults because um, uh, it opens you up to more ridicule to more torment from the kids around you because you know oh you're a snitch and you get all this BS from them and it's just a, a ridiculous situation so um, uh, stop bullying guys you know that's all that I can that I hope that you guys take away from this and, um, uh, but yeah, that's like, it's a real issue. It's only gotten worse since I've left school because apparently people are bullying each other into suicide. Like, it's ridiculous. So, um, uh, that was my bullying story. And, um, uh, go ahead and let me know about your bullying story. How did it get resolved? Did it ever get resolved? You know, is there still resentment there? Um, uh, and that's going to be all for today. I'm out. <clears throat>